the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys. We're going to talk about a few of the projects which I see holding up very strong um, despite the fact that the market has taken a dip over the past few days. It's not a dip you should be worried about, uh, in my opinion, not financial advice, but in a bull market it's normal to see a correction. We can't just see only up on the charts, okay? That's when I'd start to worry, you know. Um, a, a pullback is always good for the market. Um, you know, you can refresh... <laughs> some entries okay you can you can get some better entries um you can rebalance your portfolio you can see which which projects are strong which projects are weak okay when fod comes or when you know uh um you know a, a dip comes um you know you can see you know which projects you need to double down on and so on okay guys um, you can see which projects are short term and which projects are have have more longer term potential, or at least for the bull run, mid term potential. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about a couple of projects uh, that I've been talking about uh, talking about recently, um, but we're also going to talk about a new project that I've found, which you can see on the screen. I actually, called this project, which is Shadow Node, which is a VPN project. I called this project to Patreon just over an hour ago. Okay when it was at 4.3 million market cap. All right, guys. Um, you know, and basically, it has moved since then, but not too much. All right, guys, it's still at a great, uh, it's still at a great price point at the end of at the end of the day. All right, we're gonna take a look at the chart and we're gonna talk about why I think that this is a great buying opportunity, which of course is not financial advice. Okay, but it's in the privacy section uh, sector, okay? Um, so this is a VPN, all right, guys. Um, obviously, a VPN just enables you to, you know, browse the internet and and you know, um, you know, basically, you know, mask your IP address uh, and basically, you know, not subject yourself to phishing attacks and things like that. Okay, guys. So this is a decentralized VPN. I like this for the simple fact that they're not doing the same thing as everybody else, just coming out with some LARP AI project, um, you know deep in project that doesn't really do anything there's they're just riding off the hype or they just they just want to rent gpus and, and they don't even have any gpus okay this one um it's a, it's a cheap vpn okay and it's decentralized and it fits in well with the market and, and what we're seeing across the board right now just with ai and deep in in my opinion okay guys um what brought my attention to this project was when i saw the chart okay um for the simple fact that we've already seen the market dip okay and um, we've seen a lot of projects dump all right guys um some of them some of them are recovering some of them are just held up like this one this one's just been holding up despite the market dip bitcoin dip now to like 56k all right um dragging a bunch of old coins down of course this is on chain um so you know a lot of strong on chain projects are not affected as much by the uh, Bitcoin dips because they're not on centralized exchanges and they're not exposed to that volume also. But um, with this one, Shadow Node, right? Um, I, again, I called it a 4.3 million market cap. It's now up to 5.4 million market cap. So it, uh, it is up a little bit, okay, since an hour ago. But you can see it's in a clear uptrend. And this chart has just been holding up, okay? It's actually been around for seven days, okay? So it didn't just launch yesterday. Uh, and this is a strong chart for a seven day chart, considering where the market's been over the past three days. So in my opinion, this looks very bullish. Uh, they just surpassed uh, a thousand holders um, in the last, uh, you know, 12 hours or so. Um, the liquidity is looking good. The volume is looking good. The market cap is very attractive at 5.4 million. Obviously under 5 million is a lot better. Um, but, you know it's under 10 million i think that this is a uh you know it's a it's a it's a good it's a good buying opportunity not financial advice um so i really like this one shadow node okay and um if we go over to their twitter they've they've got some some really good partnerships that they've partnered with like power mind for example um you've got this neon neon ai 
Um, we've been commissioned by Shadow Node to create Neon AI's first ever system generated audit report, AI audit report. And again, they're powered with, uh, they're partnered with uh, Pow AI. Okay, huge project in the space. Um, Sect, Sectbot, I think. Is it Sect? No, Sect Node. Is another one? Uh, or Sectbot. No, so, sorry, Sectbot. Sectbot. Um, and the list goes on, all right, guys. So they get in partnerships. They have a standout project. They have nice branding. It fits in well with the AI ecosystem and deep in. Okay. So, um, yeah, I wanted to put this one on your radar. Um, it's called Shadow Node. I'm not sure if they're going to be running nodes. Okay. But, um, um, you know, I like this one. I like the branding and um, the fact that it's a VPN. Um, it already has a working product which you can subscribe to, you know, now for as little as $5 a month. This one's a strong project. Just look at the chart and you, you can tell it's a strong project just by the way it's holding up. So I see more upside for this project. Um, you know, a 10X will be 50 million. Can it do that? I mean, I don't see why not in a bull market, okay? Can it surpass that? There's a potential for that. Um, it's a strong possibility if they can deliver and you know they, they increase their you know productivity and you know really uh, make a name for themselves in the privacy space just like we see with something like zkml right privacy um we know that it's a narrative right now and integrating ai deep in bullish okay guys while we're on the subject of nodes um link will be in the description as well uh for patreon if you want to come and join us over there we're actually called this project. Okay, link is in the description. But while we are on the subject of nodes, uh, again, let's go over and talk about uh, NetTensor. Okay, so NetTensor is one that I talked about on the channel as well that I'm extremely bullish on. Okay, and I'm still holding NetTensor. Of course, I did take some profits before the market dipped, just a, uh, uh, you know. Uh, a decent amount of profits because I was up so much. Remember, I called this one around 1.5 million market cap. Um, tried to get in a lot earlier than that at 500k, but missed the opportunity. But I did call this at 1.5 million in market cap uh, before this actually went up to, I think it was around 50, might have been more, 50 million, 60 million in market cap. Okay, and it has pulled back. Now we're sitting around 24 million, okay guys. But um, the chart is holding up well. Um, there was some FUD over here, it came down. Um, but the chart, in my opinion, it is looking good. Okay, it's looking, it's, it's holding up pretty well. They recently just attended the NVIDIA conference. All right guys. And uh, we will, I mean, yeah, we'll talk about this. Um, but while we're on the subject of well, we, we, we'll, we'll go over to the NVIDIA in a minute. Okay, guys. But on the subject of nodes, they said uh, they have this here. NetGPU. We're working on NetGPU for AI inference and rendering purposes. And NVIDIA L4 to rent GPUs with dashboard platforms. So easy to rent AI developers and render users. We've recently... Uh, we have recent research about node services to offer on one-click uh, one nodes uh, deployment will be in development. And lastly, we have a lot of research to become BitTensor sidechain by making app chain with Polygon, CDK, and so on, right? So this one's all about nodes and all about, you know, building up the BitTensor, NetTensor ecosystem. And, you know, this one's a strong project in my opinion. It's held up well against FUD. Um and going back to the nvidia conference they actually attended the nvidia conference and the owner i believe that this is the owner doxing himself um i mean it doesn't clarify but um it's posted by the owner uh, this is posted by the owner and this is him outside of the nvidia conference with a net tensor water bottle um seemingly doxing okay guys Obviously, he's not giving you his name and date of birth, right? But um, that's definitely a good look for the project. Okay, this is a serious project. They're not hiding away. They don't intend to rug the community. 
Um, if you go on Twitter, they're doing AMAs, spaces, all that sort of stuff. Okay? So, you know, they did obviously attend the AI NVIDIA conference, as they said they would be. Um, so that should curb a little bit of FUD and a little bit of uncertainty around the team. The FUD, I believe, was about, you know, something around them having a fake AI, which they didn't actually have a fake, sorry, not a fake AI, a fake audit, which they don't actually have a fake audit. They have a, a real audit, um, which has been tweeted out by the actual people that audited zero X scans or OX scans, right? So um, just wanted to give you an update on NetTensor, NAO. Um, this is still a strong project, all right, guys? And at times like this, when the market is pulling back, it does get tempting to sell, um, you know, because you are down quite a little bit. Maybe you bought up here. But I still believe that this one goes up and goes higher. Um, it's at a 24.6 million market cap, 1.5 million in liquidity. If you saw my previous videos on this project, they continue to add liquidity. And they haven't stopped. They're still adding liquidity. If you go over to Twitter, you can get some good updates on that and Telegram. All right, guys, their following is growing. Um, and their marketing continues. So partnerships and so on. So I'm still extremely bullish on NetTensor. They have a list of different projects like the NetVPN, NetGPU, um, the App Chain, uh, the nodes, uh, the net cloud, and, and so on. The list goes on. Okay, so extremely bullish project. And um, yeah, I just want to quickly talk about OPSEC, okay, because OPSEC is by far my favorite um, AI project or deep in project that, um, you know, uh, I got in extremely early. We called this at like 5 million market cap on video as well. So many of you were able to ride this all the way up with with us at you know to around 250 million market gap. Uh, I still see this going much higher. People like Alex Becker are supporting this project, or at least you know invested in this project and talking about this project, and probably will talk about it a lot more on video. Um, there's another project that I should have included in this video actually, which I just uh, I just saw go across the trending which is Blender, which we'll, we will talk about in a following video. But um, yeah, that's another one. But OPSEC, at the moment, I really like OPSEC. I've been looking at their Cloudverse, okay, um, while we're on the subject of nodes, right? Cloudverse, you can actually rent these nodes. I think it costs around $300 um, to rent these nodes. I believe that one credit, right, it costs 30 credits for a is it one month okay that's not okay it's because i've got an insufficient credit balance okay but i've got a friend who's actually been buying nodes on opsec and renting the nodes he told me it's one dollar per credit and it costs 30 credits per month um but you can rent for uh you can rent for six to 12 months as well uh which is 300 credits which ultimately will be approximately three hundred dollars, right, per credit, at uh, per three hundred credits, uh, for a month worth of, sorry, a year's worth of, uh, using notes, thirty five credits for this one. He's very upset about the fact that he didn't get a linear node, <laughs> um, and I believe you can rent as many as you want, right, but um, the linear nodes are very sought after at the moment, um, obviously with MetaMask. Uh, you know, um, potential airdrop and all that stuff. Um, linear being a MetaMask chain, um, people want to get their hands on an airdrop, okay? Um, this one, I'm not sure what this one is, but this one looks pretty, well, it's sold out, so it's pretty popular, right? Starknet, Optimism, Celestia, uh, Tyco sold out as well. So OPSEC are doing really good with their node sales, I guess. And um, obviously it's limited the amount that you can, uh, that they can, um, you know, rent out because obviously, you know, they're not a, they're not a fake uh, pretend, this is not a pretend utility, okay? It's not a cash grab, 
Okay, they're 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 basically actually running these notes. So um, you know, OPSEC are very good. The price is looking very bullish in my opinion, holding up really well. Again, this brings me back to what I'm saying about strong charts holding up well. You know, OPSEC is clearly there was some FUD over here where it came down. I like to zoom out. This ain't when in doubt, zoom out, okay? So I like to zoom out on charts. You know, I don't want to show you the chart looking crazy like this, right? I like to zoom out because it gives you a longer term perspective. Um, we are on the one hour, but even if you jump over onto the one day or the four hour, okay, guys, it shows you that, you know, we haven't even really got started yet, right? There's still a long way to go in terms of price action. Um, these are very new projects, but um, to see the price holding up so well, um, like this, I mean, that's just a, it's a strong indicator that, you know, this is a project to hold on to, okay, hasn't just dumped off, um, so, you know, sitting at $1.80, it has had some dips, it has had some dips, but the dips get bought right back up, which is another strong indicator, right, we're getting like 70, 60, 70, 80% pumps, you know, <laughs> weekly, okay, on this particular chart, okay, so it's, it's very volatile, okay, you just have to hold through it, uh, because, you know, this one is a strong project, and, you know, the volatility is your friend at this point in the bull market, in my opinion, with a project like this, obviously, with a more riskier project, and of course, this is high risk, it's all risky, right, um, you know, with a riskier project, you know, it could just go to zero and never recover, with something like OPSEC, it's already proven itself to be, or which I believe is going to be a market leader, this is going to be a layer one as well, so, you know, they're going to have the, um, I'm not sure if they're going to rebrand to OPSEC Network, but they've got the OPSEC Network. Um, I like the fact that it's just one name as well. It's very marketable, OPSEC. You know, there's no confusion. Um, you know, so yeah, this one is very strong. Okay, very strong. And um, in terms of updates, let's just have a look on Twitter and see if there are any uh, recent updates that I've missed. Because OPSEC is one of those projects which I I don't check it every day. <laughs> I literally don't check it um, because I, I have that much confidence in it. It's got to that point where it's in my portfolio. I don't worry about this one. This one's just a long-term hold or a mid-term hold, um, at least for, for this bull run. But I, I've said it in a previous video, this is a multi-cycle project, in my opinion. Um, but again, yeah, so they're at, at NVIDIA as well. Okay, if you're worried about you know, are they fully docs? They're, they're at NVIDIA, making connections and so on, getting the name of OPSEC out there, um, getting partnerships. As you can see, collaboration with Hela Space and so on. So, again, they are the sponsors of ETH Taipei as well, ETH Taipei. Taipei. Uh, they are actually sponsoring these events, right? Or sponsoring this event um, alongside another event, which I can't remember what it is. But um, OPSEC are most certainly a project that you don't want to fade. Um, you know, if you were, uh, you know, if you had any doubt before, right? Obviously, there was some FUD and so on, which they addressed. Um, but look, look at the price holding up. This is clearly a strong project. Um, if you're going to double down on your winners, these are the types of projects that you double down on is OPSEC. Okay. And if you're holding a bag, even though I'm up, right, from 5 million market cap, this is one that you hold on to uh, for more gains. Yes, you could try and sell the tops and buy back in on the dips. Um, me personally, I did already profit massively from OPSEC because I bought two bags. I had a trading bag and I had a long-term hold back right so you know when we had a huge pump i managed to take some profits on my trading bag my long-term hold bag i've i've held it okay so you know that's a strategy you can use as well sometimes just buy twice the amount and have one that you say yo i'm going to hold on to this because i believe in the project and i have one that says yo i'm going to take some profit on that so basically the offset that i've got that i'm holding is essentially free but just because of the way that I strategize my position on it. Okay, guys. But um, super bullish on OPSEC. That's really what I've got for you in this video. 
Um, so, uh, yeah. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video. And um, come and join us in Patreon once again. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about any of the projects that we've talked about today. And I'll see you in the next video.